Afternoon cactus people. It's a rainy day in the cactus house, or it is outside at least. Uh, and I've come in here to sort out a bit of a problem we've got with the Pilosus, Pilosus aureus, which um, despite being protected all winter with um, styrofoam cup and fleece, uh, has just um, developed some blackness at the tip and then a dark blue stain on the the lower part and yesterday it just decided to flop over a little bit so um, I put a picture up last night saying I'm not sure if it's long for this world and today Michelle commented that uh, it might be an idea to cut the thing's head off and repot it so armed with that idea I've come out to the cactus house and although I'll probably cut its head off I probably won't repot it at the moment, I'll probably leave it in situ because um, basically putting it there was an experiment to see how it did there in the first place and so far not so good but um, this is how it should look this is one that was actually taken into a warmer part of the greenhouse and looked after over winter this part didn't have any extra heating in so that could be the problem Mind you, it was a particularly nasty winter. So, anyway, that's what he should look like. I don't want to just replace him with this one at the moment. I'd rather keep him in the pot where I can keep an eye on him during the winter. So, this one, uh, armed with this uh, nice sharp machete and um, got some methylated spirits which I've diluted and put into this spray bottle. This just kills off any bugs on the, any bacteria on the knife, just as a safeguard. And with no further ado, ouch, we're gonna grab hold of him. Uh, this is the the part that's, take, that's gone the darker shade of blue, so that bit is obviously damaged. That's its normal color and likewise with the lower part that looks fine as well so I'm gonna hedge my bets and go in on the normal looking part of it and hope there's not any uh, damage further in um, that looks okay just hold a bit up to the, the camera it's possible that this damage has already gone all the way down it, but I don't keep one of slicing it off just to see, so we'll leave it at that. And what I will do is dab some sulphur on the, the wound to stop any fungus getting in and to help it dry out as well. Now if all goes well, this hopefully might stop the uh, the damage going further down if it doesn't I've lost the plant but um, if we carry if I left it to carry on I'll probably lose the plant anyway so that's that's going to dry it out and seal the the cut as well um, if it does work that will have stopped the growing point so it would have stopped the hormone going back that stops the, the growth and new growth will come out the side and all those growths will want to be the new growing tip so it could be interesting if it works it'll be nice it'll be interesting if it doesn't then we've lost the plant but no harm in trying if it um, doesn't work and it dies off I sort of decided that this trichocereus would be nice and I may well put this down here in the meantime anyway this one um, it doesn't grow too tall and it clumps out sideways so I think that would look quite nice as a, a backdrop anyway so I'll probably do that over the next few days and uh, let's just hope that that's done the, done the trick but uh, we won't be able to tell until a few weeks if, if the damage gets worse we'll soon know I suppose anyway thank you all for watching and uh, watch this space for further developments